And with that, we are right at the top of the hour. And as we promised, we're going to get started. Uh, so we're really excited to have you all here with us this afternoon where we're able to launch our new 2021 products for Fisher. Uh, normally, we'd have the opportunity to join at SIMA. We'd be in person um, at a trade show experience. Uh, but SIMA decided to move their show to August, and we wanted to make sure that we gave you guys plenty of advance notices to the great new products that we have coming out for our Fisher brand uh, this coming winter season. So before we go too far uh, with the presentation, we wanted to take a, a chance to introduce ourselves uh, to you this afternoon. Um, my name is Jennifer Wolf. I am the advertising manager for Fisher. Um, I am coming up very close to my first birthday uh, on the Fisher team. Um, and so what you realize in your first summer working for a uh, snow and ice control company is that basically all as you think about in summer is winter and you get really annoyed that the thermostat got stuck on uber high. Um, so summer definitely takes on a totally different meaning these days. Um, and with that, I'm going to let the, the rest of the panelists introduce themselves. Thank you, Jennifer. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Tim Stiles, the sales manager here at Fisher Engineering. I've been with the company uh, 18 years uh, in multiple sales and dealer support roles over that time. And, uh, and I'm sure some of you I may have already met, uh, probably either at a trade show, like Jennifer uh, mentioned, uh, maybe one of our dealers, or maybe even stopped at uh, your facility in person. So uh, with that being said, thanks for joining us today as we share uh, these new products. Thank you. Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining. <clears throat> thanks for your interest. My name is Tyler Jones. I'm a product manager for Fisher Plows and I've been going, uh, been with the company going on 15 years. Um, stay tuned and you'll learn a lot more about me. And so before we launch into our presentation, we just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a background on what to expect. Um, so normally we'd have the opportunity to be live at a trade show where we could walk you around the products and you could see all the features in person. So we try to figure out the best way to mimic that experience online in a virtual setting. So we did a pre-recorded video for you that allows Tyler to walk around the product, but we're actually able to get in detail. So we're able to zoom in on features and show some of them in motion. So you can really get a true idea as to what that impact would be on your business and how that can benefit you and your operation. Um, but we also wanted to make sure that we had the ability to answer any questions that will come up during that um, during the presentation. So once that video has ended, we will transition back into this live panel where we will answer any of the questions that come in during the presentation, as well as any of the questions that come in during that live Q&A. Um, so now the next question I'm sure that you have is how do I ask a question? Um, so there's two ways that you're able to communicate with us. So this right now is set up in a Zoom platform. So if anybody has done any Zoom calls in the last year, because I know a lot of us went from zero to all the time in, in a Zoom platform, um, is the control should look really similar to you. So you can communicate with us if you just, you know, have a question about the platform um, in the chat function. That chat will come to us as the panelists. Um, but if you do have a question, we do ask that you put that into the Q&A panel. That'll just give us a really good way to be able to track the questions coming in. Um, I will try to do the, the best uh, job possible with monitoring both the chat and the Q&A. But um, if you can remember to put questions in the Q&A uh, function, that uh, we can make sure that we get answered for you. Uh, we do have a limited amount of time, so the video presentation will take about 20 minutes, which will leave us about 20 to 25 minutes for questions there at the end. So in order to make sure that we can get all of the questions answered about our new products, we are going to focus on those questions. Um, if you have any questions, though, pertaining to something that is um, outside of that new product introduction realm, feel free to ask it. Just know that we will answer it via email after the session is over. Um, and with that, uh, we are going to kick off the introduction of our new products. Look, winter isn't a mystery. It's not some surprise that shows up out of the blue, okay? It happens every year, especially in Fisher Nation. So you stay ready for anything. You stay prepared. Doesn't matter if you're a commercial contractor, an operator, a homeowner, 
You depend on pro-grade snow and ice management tools to stay prepared. You stay prepared by choosing the right tools for the job. Tools made by people who put everything they've got into design, engineering, and innovation. People who have been perfecting snow and ice control equipment for work trucks for over 70 years. Today, we're proud to bring you the same high-quality industry-leading equipment that you've come to expect from Fisher. Precision engineered for UTVs and compact tractors because we're always prepared in Fisher Nation. Introducing the all-new Trailblazer Mid-Duty UTV Straight Blade Snowplow and the all-new Trail Commander 250 and Trail Commander 600 stainless steel drop spreaders. Hello and welcome. My name is Tyler Jones. I'm a product manager for Fisher Engineering. I want to first thank you in your interest in our new products. My goal is to first tell you a little bit about myself before we get into these new products that you see here. I'm from Maine. I grew up around snow plowing with my dad, oftentimes riding with him on his plow route. I did a lot of physical labor doing the shoveling and cleanup work. And I always imagined, boy, I'd love to get involved in making some of this work more enjoyable and more efficient. I also saw a lot of the frustration that came with unreliable plows and product breakdowns. It was really seared into me at a young age that I wanted to contribute to product development and produce more reliable and more durable products than other things in the market. I was extremely fortunate to get a job at Fisher Engineering fresh out of college. I had developed a resume working as a technician on snowmobiles and ATVs during college. I also worked in a call center in credit card sales. So really unknowingly, I had created a perfect resume for myself to come into Fisher Engineering and get a job in the tech service department. Those years that I spent in tech service were some of the most valuable experiences and conversations that I could have uh, to lead into my role now as product manager. It was during that time that I heard about the needs, the complaints, and began to understand some of the opportunities to improve areas such as performance and durability. So when the opportunity came for a position as product manager, I leapt. I hit the ground running. We focused on compact plows for small trucks. Over the years, I was able to work through the whole product line all the way up to class six trucks and get heavily involved in truck mounted snow plows. My positions recently evolved and now I'm focused on non-truck and it's been extremely exciting because it is a significant growth opportunity and a new common trend in professional snow and ice control. So as you can see, this year we've focused on smaller solutions specifically for sidewalk management. This is an area within snow and ice control where there are significant labor challenges and inefficiencies. So what you're looking at is our new stainless steel drop spreader which is the ideal tool for precise de-icing application management of sidewalks. To my right, our new MD UTV plow has been specifically engineered for all the parameters of mid-duty and sport recreational UTVs. We've got lower amperage draw, lighter weight, better ground clearance, lots of features in both of these units which make them stand out in the market and more reliable and higher performing. So I can't wait to get into that. We're gonna start off with the MD UTV plow and kick it off with some quick highlights of the great features we've put into this product.
So now that you've seen the highlights on the MD UTV plow, let's take a deeper dive into some of the details. For starters, the blade is 19 and a half inches tall and is available in two widths, either 66 inch, which is an ideal width for sidewalk plowing and for the smaller mid-size UTVs. The blade is also available in a 72 inch, which you'll find perfect for wider sport recreational UTVs, such as the Polaris Razor. Also, the 72 inch is right at home doing residential driveway plowing. The blade is full steel construction. The parts are laser profiled and utilize tab and slot design, which ensures perfect fitment and tight tolerances. The coating on the whole plow is a two layer coating. The first being an epoxy baked on coat before a high gloss, ultra yellow finish. It's really important for us that the product look good year over year as we know that's important to our customers as it is to their customers. This blade is shown with our rubber deflector accessory. That promotes snow rolling and helps prevent snow from coming up onto the hood of the machine. Additional accessories include blade shoe kit, which helps promote floating when plowing over soft surfaces like crushed stone or loose gravel. We also have a poly cutting edge ideal for sensitive surfaces such as stone pavers or decorative concrete. Last, we have a high wear cutting edge, which is a bit thicker than what we offer standard on the plow, and that provides extended wear life for high usage applications. The blade is a full trip design, and that's a system which allows the blade to tip forward in the event that you hit a hidden obstacle. The tripping motion helps relieve the impact and prevents damage to the plow and the machine, as well as property damage. Behind that is the most significant feature that makes up the MD plow. It's the sway frame. Inherent in some plows is the tendency for the plow to list from one side to the other as the plow is angled. It causes an offset, a misalignment with the wheel track and leaves packed, ugly snow behind. The sway frame is developed to maintain perfect centered position through both left and right angle and preserve wheel alignment between the blade and the machine. The plow features powerful hydraulics for full operation, lift, left, and right angle, as well as a float mode. The hydraulics are designed and built in-house by us and feature a lot of the same components that we use in our truck-mounted snow plows. The electrical system doesn't fall short either. We've used protective shielding on all of the harnesses, weather pack sealed connectors, and the control itself is IP66 rated against moisture. The control has been developed to accommodate either dash-mounted or handheld preference. You have everything you need to mount the control in the machine or keep it in the handheld configuration, which it comes in for convenient handheld operation. The switches on the control are specifically designed for operation even with bulky gloves. The mount is a very significant feature in an area where we put a lot of emphasis and R&D in the development of this product. When talking to users of UTVs and professional snow and ice control, we found issues with durability and performance. A lot of that centered around the mount. Some plows were unreliable and would break off when plowing. Other plows were cumbersome to attach and or impeded heavily on the ground clearance of the machine, requiring operators to remove the mount when the plow wasn't in use. With all of that in mind, we set out to develop a new mount platform, which was able to accommodate narrower frame dimensions of mid-size UTVs, provides maximum ground clearance, and most mounts have removable receivers which mean when the plow is detached, you can fully restore ground clearance by just detaching the receivers. When it's time to plow again, they quickly reinstall and provide a good secure attachment between plow and the UTV. 
The jack leg helps ensure that the plow is left at the proper height so that the plow can be easily reattached. And the connecting pins, which attach the plow to the machine, also lock the unit in perfect alignment when in the storage configuration. Together, these features mean that the plow is going to be easy, exact, and enjoyable. Now we're gonna shift our attention over to the new stainless steel drop spreaders. Here again, we've prepared a brief animation video for you to bring you into some of the highlighted features. So let's delve into these drop spreaders a little bit more. For starters, there's two available sizes, the Trail Commander 600, which offers six cubic foot capacity, or the smaller Trail Commander 250, which offers two and a half cubic foot capacity. It's important to consider the payload capacity of the machine when selecting a spreader. I'll tell you the 600, when fully loaded, comes in at about 650 pounds the 250 fully loaded at about 350 pounds. We've provided as a standard feature mounting options for two inch receiver, three point mount, or in bed mount. You have all the connecting hardware and straps needed for all of those options. A key characteristic of the unit is the width itself. We evaluated various sidewalk widths and various widths of competitive units. We ended up with 36 inches, seeing it as the ideal width to minimize turf damage and reduce material waste in the event of a double pass application. See, with a wider spreader, you'd be increasing the amount of overlap and increasing inefficiency. For additional control, we've provided adjustable baffles on each side of the unit, which control the spread width in three inch increments. On a single pass sidewalk, you're gonna find 36 inches is ideal when you factor product leach, which is where de-icing material dissolves into a brine and can migrate outwards. This is where turf damage can occur. For uptime and reduced downtime between jobs, we've developed a very easy to use and quick drop trough. That allows all residual material to be quickly removed from the unit, putting it back in service next time it snows. Again, uptime was an emphasis with the design of these spreaders. We went with oil-filled poly bearings, which have extended wear life and are maintenance-free when compared to traditional bearings. Furthermore, we've got completely direct drive motor and gearbox, which is protected underneath this cover here. Direct drive means there's no sprockets or chains which need to be adjusted or maintained. Really, the big feature with this spreader is the baffle design. When the spreader is operating, the feed roller comes in contact with the rear panel. As it comes around, that agitates the material and keeps it active. This prevents bridging and promotes smooth, consistent spread of material. The control is a single variable speed control and provides 
electronic buttons to control the accessories. Accessories include a strobe light, a work light, a vibrator, and a height extension collar. The height extension collar brings the 600 up to a total of eight cubic foot capacity and the 250 up to a four cubic foot capacity. So that's it for the walk around for the drop spreader and the MDUTV plow. Now let's take some time to address your questions. Perfect, welcome back. Hopefully you guys are excited. Um, once again, Fisher provides a, a great host of products that are able to answer, as Tyler mentioned in the walk around, uh, a, to solve a pain point. Um, how do we make sidewalk maintenance and smaller walking paths and just driveways easier to maintain and less of a manual effort where we can reduce labor? Um, we did see some really good questions come in during the presentation that we're gonna start with. Um, I do just want to let everybody know that if you have any questions that come up um, or if a question that we start to answer here during the, the period spawns another question, please make sure that you're submitting that in the, the question and answer function because we'll make sure that we work that in with the questions that have already been asked uh, during the video session. Um, for those people that might have joined us um, during our video presentation, we just want to take an opportunity to reintroduce ourselves. Um, I am your moderator, also known as your question flinger. Um, my name is Jennifer Walt, um, and I'm the Advertising Manager for Fisher. Hi, everyone. I'm Tim Stiles, and I'm the Sales Manager here at uh, Fisher Engineering. Hey, thanks for tuning in. My name is Tyler Jones. I'm a Product Manager for Fisher. So with that, we will jump right in. Um, there were a few questions that came in during the video presentation that were asking about vehicle compatibility. Um, I did place a few links uh, for everybody in the chat that you guys can access. Um, the, the items that are in there is a link to our dealer locator. This is the best place for you to go and find the dealers um, that are local to you that support our full Fisher line of products. Um, and then there's two additional links that take you to either our vehicle match for plows or a vehicle match for spreaders. Um, so this will allow you to go through um, and answer the different questions to find the best either plow or spreader for your vehicle or for the application and the materials that you're looking to spread. Um, so with that, let's get started with the question and answer period. Um, Tyler, the first question is coming your way. Um, does the Trailblazer mid-duty UTV plow come only with hydraulic raise and angle? Uh, yes, as a matter of fact, the, uh, the new plow is a full hydraulic for raised left and right angle. Uh, primary justification there is we prioritize the needs of professional snow and ice contractors. And if you've plowed with an ATV, uh, manual angle plow of any kind, really, <clears throat> you'll understand it's not the end of the world, but it, uh, it doesn't take long before that's a daunting task. Um, primarily, it forces you to plow inefficient. And we know that professionals um, reasonably so have an obsession for being precise and being efficient, um, <clears throat> maximizing the amount of jobs that they can take on with the staffing and equipment is key. So more efficient uh, equipment, such as this full hydraulic plow is, is key to maximizing the amount of, in this case, sidewalks that, uh, that you can do. Yeah, perfect. Completely makes sense. Very much a focus on efficiency and being able to get things done faster. Plus, it's just a lot of fun to move a lot of snow with a UTV, isn't it, Tyler? Well, provided you've got hydraulics, it, it feels a little childish otherwise. Um, if you are out doing sidewalks or, you know, trying to make a legitimate go of it. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, the next question um, is, um, Tyler, I think that this is a, a great one for you to start with. And then Tim, if you would like to add anything uh, once Tyler's done responding, but the group is just looking at what's the retail price on the Trailblazer mid-duty UTV plow? Uh, that's a key question. I'm glad that came up early. Uh, remember that there are two different sizes for the MD. There's a five and a half foot, which is just over $3,200. And the larger six foot is just over $3,300. So we worked hard to um, put key features into the plow, um, but maintain a, a good price point. So 
Um, we do also have the HD line of UTV plows, uh, which you'll find boast a little bit more uh, robust, you know, from a structural standpoint, a little bit heavier as well, and uh, subsequently a higher price point than the MD. Yeah, and just to follow that up, <clears throat> just go ahead and you always want to check with your local dealer for a custom price quote. Of course, depending on what OEM model UTV you have, what blade you selected, and how you may equip it with accessories. So uh, always go ahead and uh, you can reference in the chat uh, the dealer locator that Jennifer did post there, then go ahead and reach out to your local dealer to get a uh, specific uh, retail cost for your application. Yeah, just to summarize, um, as, as Tim mentioned, our dealer locator is going to provide you complete access to our dealers and they can give you the, the best um, information on the true not only price but also any installation or any additional accessories that you would want to put with that product. Um, we did have a question actually uh, come in um, here while we're doing our Q&A session. Um, Tyler, we have someone that's interested to know um, how the Trail Commander 600, so our drop spreaders, um, are going to attach and be mounted into vehicles. So they specifically have a JCB loader. Okay, um, I'm not 100% sure what JCB offers because I don't know precisely what model, uh, but we've tried to cover all bases with this unit and we did it with minimum complexity by providing uh, various mount options as a standard feature. So you have a three point hitch, um, obviously common on tractors, uh, but also other equipment do offer that attachment style. Uh, it comes again standard with a two inch receiver. Um, so another thing that if, uh, and I'm wondering on the loader, if it doesn't have a two inch receiver, um, I'd suspect that'd be a very uh, simple kind of upfit. So the last uh, means to attach the unit is in bed. So simply setting it in the bed. And again, we've provided ratchet straps uh, in that instance to secure the unit um, <clears throat> in place. And, and we did see a follow-up question uh, to that, Tyler, where we have someone wondering if they can do an installation of the drop spreader into a pickup uh, truck bed. I'll tell you it's possible. Um, however, we haven't, we haven't tested for that, um, merely because the drop spreader is developed for sidewalk application. Uh, we don't find trucks often utilized in that application. And, if they are, uh, typically that's a wide enough sidewalk where the drop spreader loses its uh, you know, true benefit, which is precise, narrow, even application of material. It uses a two inch receiver hitch. Um, and that's where I say we haven't tested for it. I can't guarantee that the harnesses are long enough um, <clears throat> for application in a truck. So that would vary depending on the truck too. But. Perfect. Yeah, and I think that goes back to uh, the, the importance of really checking that spreader selector tool, making sure that you're getting the right product for the specific application and material you're looking to spread. And then also, as Tim mentioned, just make sure that you're making that connection with the dealer because they'll make sure that they understand the vehicle you're looking for, what you're trying to accomplish, and then we can make sure we get the right product for you. Because um, if the drop spreader isn't the right uh, product for that pickup bed truck, we have a whole line of broadcast tailgate spreaders that we can make sure work for you as well. So um, Fisher pretty much has a product for everything. So we'll make sure we get you covered. Um, going back uh, specifically here, um, the next question uh, that has come in, um, Tim, I think this one is, is coming your way. How long does that mid-duty UTV plow take to install? Well, similarly to the previous question, we do have an expansive uh, mount offering on these UTVs. So go ahead and do check uh, the E-Match system to see uh, if we have one for your make and model, whether that's on our heavy duty offering or this mid duty offering here, but uh, they will vary based on that. And again, as you uh, accessorize them, and for those reasons, uh, you know, essentially a half to a full day should be ample time to have a mid duty UTV stalled at your uh, local dealer. But again, you're gonna wanna contact them. Uh, they can help you walk through those specifics uh, get that price point and, um, and be able to schedule on uh, availability in their schedule as well. So 
lot of variables there, but uh, certainly a half day to full day should cover it. Yeah, perfect. And, and exactly, that is the exact reason why we wanted to make sure that we had the ability to showcase our new products to you uh, right here in the middle of June. A lot of people currently aren't thinking about winter. They're not planning as far ahead as you are. And so now is a perfect time to reach out to your dealer and talk to them about installation because right now they probably have time that they can get you scheduled versus waiting to closer in season when everybody's thinking about winter and getting everything installed and ready. Um, Moving on uh, down our list of questions, um, Tyler and Tim, I think that this one is coming from you, kind of similar to the one of the questions we just answered previously. This time the group is wondering what the list price is on our new line of stainless steel drop spreaders. Good, I'm glad we got that covered too. Uh, the Trail Commander is available in two sizes. So the smaller two and a half cubic foot known as the 250 is about $3,500. And then the larger six cubic foot uh, Trail Commander 600 is just over $3,800. And remember that includes everything you need, uh, no additional costs for components to you know, facilitate installation. And common theme again, right? Reference back to your local dealer for uh, varying installation prices, availability. Uh, but yeah, you know, uh, Tyler's right there. And um, again, that your dealer can provide you with that exact uh, product and spec, depending on how you're uh, how you're upfitting it and uh, what you're what you're entailing to do. So. Uh, we did have a question actually here come in during our live Q and A session. Um, the group is wondering, Tyler, I think that this one is, uh, is perfect for you. If the wiring harnesses for the UTV plow um, is fleet flex. Um, no, in this instance, they are not. Uh, the MD plow is unique from the HD plow in that way. Uh, we wanted to produce a control that was simple and extremely durable. We achieved an IP66 rating against moisture ingression in that control. And because we wanted to provide either a handheld or dash mounted option as a standard feature, uh, we sought to redesign a totally new control. Um, so it does use a basic type of functionality as opposed to Fleet Flex. Perfect. Great, dis great distinguisher there, Tyler, and, and really good to know the, the difference there between the mid-duty line and our H-duty line of Trailblazer UTV plows. Um, <clears throat> going back, Tyler, you're going to be really excited about the group. The next question, um, they're wondering what the benefit is of that new sway frame feature that you mentioned in the walk around. You're right. Uh, and the truth is, if the question wasn't asked, I was going to find a way to talk about it anyways, because uh, this is a central feature on this product. It's unique to the MD, uh, not something that's in the HD plow. And it's a critical feature for sidewalk plowing. Uh, the demands of sidewalk plowing are precision. And what the sway frame uh, provides is, is just that. It maintains alignment between the blade and the wheel track of the machine. Uh, deviate to either side and that can result in turf damage, property damage, uh, and frankly, you know, subpar results of the work. So um, we, we realized this watching operators with UTVs and noticed that there is a common tendency for the blades to overhang and kind of pull in, which is where the problem really lies, is the side that doesn't get sufficient coverage uh, tends to get run over. So the sway frame addresses that. And um, again, it is a unique feature on the MD plow. It's something that we have patent pending, as a matter of fact. Yeah, those are the features that not only Tyler gets really excited about, but us in the, the marketing and advertising world just love it when we have things that really do, um, th that Fisher can own and that we just make the experience better when it comes to snow and ice control. So every year we're trying to figure out how we make a, a contractor's life easier and we just add efficiency. And so the sway frame is a great example um, of just continuing year over year to add those features. 
Um, Tyler, the next question uh, that the group has thrown at us is um, with the new Trailblazer mid-duty UTV plow and the new stainless steel drop spreaders, what vehicles do these new models work best on? Perfect question. Uh, we'll start with the drop spreader. Um, I've mentioned various times the array of mounts that come standard with the spreader, but common applications for the drop spreaders are tractors, UTVs, um, and really a, a myriad of different unique uh, pieces of machinery that are used be it municipal or commercial sidewalk management. So we've tried to cover those again with the two inch receiver hitch, the three point hitch or in bed mount. Um, the weights are 350 pounds for the 250 and 650 pounds for the 600. So um, with respect to a tractor, you know, or a small compact loader, that weight's not going to be a, a consideration. But on the UTVs, uh, particularly midsize, which we are focused on with the MD plow, um, you'll want to pay close attention to the payload capacity at the rear. Um, the 250 tends to align best with the midsize UTVs, whereas the six cubic foot is a little too heavy when loaded. Full size UTVs um, and certainly the pure, you know, utility, pure utilitarian UTVs uh, boast enough payload capacity for the larger unit. The MD plow is, uh, is really designed and tailored specifically around midsize UTVs. They've gained tremendous popularity um, for their compact size, making them more useful uh, to pro users around the job site and uh, even more enjoyable for recreationalists. The plow also, um, somewhat by coincidence, sport recreational UTVs such as the Polaris Razor, Canyon Maverick, those weren't designed to do work. Those were designed to have fun. Uh, they often have incredible suspension, but not necessarily heavy payload capacity. Um, they don't tend to have the charging system, the electrical output that the utilitarian UTVs do. Um, so this MD plow with lighter weight overall and lower amperage draw needs is right at home on those sport uh, UTVs as well. And I think that's, that's key because that's where the homeowner uh, market, you know, resides. And it's a little bit painful having something uh, like a UTV that you're staring at all winter long. Um, adding a plow is a great way to extract more enjoyment and uh, more wheel time on a UTV. Perfect. Great answer. Um, we've had a few questions uh, come in looking for specific compatibility um, with vehicles, whether they be trucks or UTVs. Um, so just wanted to, to focus those questions. The best way to get an answer on that is to really use our vehicle match um, system, which we put the links in the chat. This will give you the ability, it'll ask you a whole bunch of questions about your vehicle and then give you the returned products and mounts that you would need that are compatible with that vehicle. Um, so that is the best way to get the exact information you need. And then you can take that information directly into your dealer um, and they can work with you to, to figure out installation times and what the delivery dates would be. Um, so not gonna take each of those individually, but definitely pointing you towards those links in the chat. Um, so the next question that has come in from the group, uh, Tim, this one is for you. Um, the group is wondering, when will the new UTV plows and drop spreaders be available at dealer locations? Well, we've actually uh, started taking orders for these new products uh, the last several months and will continue over the next uh, several months. So the outlook is positive and uh, good so far. And um, but the, like I said, the dealers are placing those orders. Uh, they'll start receiving their stock inventory in the August, September timeframe. So uh, if you're interested uh, in these products, make sure uh, call ahead and uh, reserve yours. And, um, and if that's August timeframe is a little too far out and you're anxious to see this product sooner than that. Um, for those that aren't aware, the SIMA Symposium, which is the Snow and Ice Management Association, they are actually holding uh, some events this, uh, this summer. There's one in uh, Minneapolis in July and uh, they'll also be hosting in Cleveland and Philly in the month of August. 
So if you're near any of those markets and uh, have interest and want to see these up close and personal before your dealer uh, takes delivery, they will be, uh, be on hand and being showcased. So take your opportunity to look at them. Uh, and if you guess, if you have any other information, I guess re regarding probably the schedule events of SIMA, that is uh, SIMA.org. So you can get all the details there and and uh, come see us at those shows uh, to get an up close look and personal at those. But otherwise, dealers will start uh, receiving delivery of that product again, uh, August and September is the ballpark timeframes. Perfect. And like before, you guys are getting a sneak peek um, of the new products. So any calls that you would make in the next week to your dealers are getting a jump start uh, before anyone else would see them. So we are planning on having all the information go live on our Fisher website um, actually next week. So you guys are, are a little bit in the know right now as to what is coming new uh, for to our Fisher dealers this coming fall. Um, the next question uh, that we have, Tyler, I'm going to throw your way. Um, the group is wondering, uh, the new products this year are very focused on utility vehicles. Is Fisher changing its focus from work truck attachments? Great question. Um, I guess in essence, there is a change. Um, focusing more on non-truck is something that's going to be really important uh, ongoing for Fisher as that is the growing segment of the market. More professionals are utilizing uh, non-truck, we say, you know, loaders, UTVs, things of that nature, because they're in pursuit of more efficiency. They're in pursuit of taking on more work. And the reality is that we prioritize those professional users. And that's what really led us um, in this instance of this year to sidewalk management focused products. That's where um, there was money on the table for contractors that they were struggling to access because of labor challenges. They wanna mechanize and there are a number of solutions in the market. Um, a, a UTV is, uh, you know, in subcompact equipment are, um, are the top rank machines to get out there. Yeah, perfect. Like Tyler mentioned, we have an, uh, a wonderful collection of uh, plows and spreaders for work trucks. Um, that line is, is pretty complete and fleshed out and really very focused still on that space, but wanting to make sure that we provide a complete portfolio that can help you in all areas of snow and ice control management and really looking to solve the problems that we hear from contractors. So um, Tyler um, and the product management team, as well as Tim and, and his team are constantly sharing information and pain points. And every year we wanna make sure that we solve those with our new products, um, which is why we're looking to, to help mechanize um, and reduce labor needed in something that traditionally has been very labor intensive. Um, so uh, moving on from our next question uh, from our group, um, Tim, this one is coming your way. How are we guaranteeing that the dealer network will fully support the attachments for utility vehicles and compact equipment? Well, Jennifer, just like with our other current lineup of products, even though it's compact equipment and utility attachments, you know, our dealer network is committed to supporting all of our Fisher snow and ice control equipment uh, just what you guys have come to expect and uh, that promise continues with these no, new products today. So, I mean, for over uh, 70 years now, we really take great pride in our dealer network and uh, that commitment continues uh, even with these new products in this segment that we have here. No different than the uh, current state. Yeah, perfect. And once again, as Tim mentioned, that dealer locator is going to give you a whole list of all the dealers that are local to you. So it really comes down to finding that, that dealer that can fully support you um, and, you know, finding the, the support mechanism that really services your business the best. Um, so we are coming up um, here. We've got about 10 minutes left. Uh, so that probably gives us time for about two to three additional questions. Um, if there is anything on the top of your mind that you really want to make sure you know that we can't uh, quite get to, just still make sure that you put it into that, uh, the Q&A uh, system, because if we don't have time to answer them live, we will make sure that we follow up after the fact via email. Um, so looking um, at the, the next question, actually, that came in here during our, our live Q&A session, um, Tyler, uh, the, the group is wondering if the new mid-duty UTV plow uh, is compatible with ATV products or vehicles. 
Great question. Um, the MD is designed uh, exclusively, I'll say in this case, for UTVs. So we do not have ATV applications <coughs> yet, um, but it's certainly an important uh, application, a platform, if you will, for sidewalk management. Perfect. Some, a new thing for us to look into for sure um, as we look into the future. Um, Tyler, with the MDUTV plow, uh, the group is really interested um, if you could describe the paint process that we use uh, to get that beautiful yellow top coat. Yes, I'd love to. Uh, I feel that's an area of our business where we put a lot of innovation, a lot of R&D, and don't necessarily you know, market as much as we could. We've got a very large team of um, picture white coat scientists that run our coating system. Um, it's basic in the sense that it starts with a shot blast, um, giant shot blast, which does more than remove scale and slag off of the steel. It also creates the texture on the steel uniformly on all surfaces. That's important because that's what creates the mechanical adhesion of the powder when it's applied later. But as soon as it comes out of shot glass, the next phase of our coating system is a zinc phosphate wash that helps prep and clean the steel, remove oils and contaminants, but then also treats the steel with a non-corrosive uh, chemical. Before, uh, once it's dried, it's put into uh, the first powder application booth, which is an epoxy primer. Uh, that further promotes adhesion, it further seals the steel, and again, it helps the lustrous, glossy, fissure yellow top coat adhere even better, more reliably, and last longer uh, than without. Now, this is a unique characteristic in the market, um, applying primer, and it's something that we've done for a number of years. Uh, the coating on this MD plow is uniform, the same uh, that we have on our truck mounted products as well. It's, um, I will tell you that um, the compounds that we are utilizing are the leading best products in the market for powder coating. And they've actually been developed for tropical climates and the application of skyscrapers and bridges. So um, the the emphasis is on pigment retention and gloss retention in those instances. And that's something that's really important to us and makes our plows uh, you know, a perfect platform for that, uh, that, that material. And, and ultimately our goal is to make sure we understand when you pull up at your uh, client, that's your calling card, right? How good your equipment looks. Um, and a lot of times you're, that, that's how you get uh, your next customer is through you know, neighbors and property owners around there seeing the great work that you do and the way you present your business. So we wanna make sure when you pull up with your Fisher plows, you're looking as good as possible to be able to get that maximum amount of business uh, surrounding the clients you already have. Another thing to think about Jennifer is either the residual value of the plows, be them, mm -hmm. EV or truck mounted. For those that want to rotate the equipment, it's that much easier to move along when it looks good. Uh, but the other side of that coin is uh, even prolonged service life of the product. The steel's going to last longer with the coating intact, and frankly, plows are going to look better um, and and certainly serve uh, you know longer, looking good. Perfect. Um, well, we, we do have our final question um, actually coming in here live uh, during our live Q&A portion uh, versus the video recorded session. Um, and um, Daniel is wondering, Tyler, uh, this question I think is going to come your way, what the warranty length is on the new drop spreaders and the mid-duty UTV plow? Uh, it's an easy question to answer because all Fisher products have a uniform two-year warranty um, and that's against, you know, obviously defects and issues of workmanship and operation with the, with the products. 
Perfect. Um, so with that, we want to make sure that we get everybody uh, back onto their evening agenda and schedule. We really do appreciate everyone joining us here this afternoon, uh, early evening, so you can get a sneak peek in what Fisher is going to be offering uh, for the winter season this year. Um, as Tim mentioned, our dealers are already placing their orders. Uh, they should know when their stock is going to arrive. So if you have any additional questions or, you know, want to make sure that you get early on the list of installations, give them a call now uh, because they're fully aware of the new products. It can probably give you the date when their first shipment will arrive so you can secure one of your spots for that. Um, as well as the fact of all of our current product as well. Um, they will be ready and willing to answer any questions that you might have about those. Um, and they will more than gladly talk to you about those products as well. Um, so Tim kind of mentioned, if you are interested in seeing products um, as well, and you're going to be joining any of the Asima events, we will be showcasing uh, with Fisher booths at all three of those events. Um, Philadelphia and Minneapolis, we will actually have um, some dealers on site if you have any questions or um, any more in-depth conversations about pricing or installation schedules. Um, so with that, we really do appreciate your time. Um, all of the information will go live uh, next week on fisherplows.com if there's any additional um, information that you want to get on the products. Otherwise, uh, you guys can send me an email and I'll make sure that I get um, any answer you might have uh, to questions that we haven't answered yet. Uh, so thank you very much. We appreciate your time and have a great evening. Bye. Thank you.